Hello friends, it's Armstrong here from the Miniatures and I was supposed to make this video in the early morning but of course you know I love to sleep. So yeah, I'm doing this video now on my lunch break. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna be converting this little guy into something a bit more Gasland-ish. Yeah, I have about 20 minutes to do that so let's just not dilly dally and jump on the table and start building stuff. Because otherwise, you know how it is. I'm at work. Yeah, it's just my lunch. Let's just get through it. And here we have this little bomberman. Yeah, the idea for him is quite simple because of this flat deck. I can put in here a ton of grenades. Yeah. So, <clears throat> kind of, uh, I'm expecting this guy to explode every single game. Yeah, but of course, you know, rocket launchers and maybe just something, you know, of an extra engine on top. Yeah, not much of a defense, more of the offensive build completely. Kind of a nuts, but yeah, nuts is what we are living for. Yeah, so let's just grab the super glue and the pin, of course, because this super glue probably got stock already. Mm. There we go. And those little pipes are always getting lost. Oh. Hopefully it's still gonna be unclocked. Yeah. So like I said, I have no much time for this build. But I want to build something I've been inspired by the idea with Gorka Morka. Oh, come on, please work. Nope, it is stuck. Just cut off the very top of it. Where is my sharp blade? Sharp blade, sharp blade. Everywhere and nowhere. Just cut off the very tip. And hope that it's gonna be good enough. Yes. So, as you can see, I'm using a precision uh, <laughs> thing for the super glue yeah. it's I noticed that I don't have that many uh, fingers glued that often when I use those yeah for some reason it works it's not that I think that someone designed it you know to stop you from over spilling super glue And of course I didn't scoff the roof. <sighs> so a little bit of scoffing, scoffing, scoffing. And there we go, and of course I still glue my fingers to the car. Because why wouldn't I? <laughs> and there we have a rocket launcher. Of course, you know, I was talking about that in one of the previous videos that I always tend to point everything forward but just you know when you are building those cars you don't really think much about you know pointing anything in the any other direction than front yeah so there we go it's I think that there is a break in here in the yeah. so, So yeah, I tend to always point it into the front. Mm, what else, what else, what else? It looks like it's very simple, but you know, those big wheels in the back, they really work, the grenades, you know, I could of course, you know, put something in between as well, but they work in my opinion. And, you know, replacing the front wheels with those ones would probably work, but if I put those ones, they probably just get meh. I don't know if that's all that I want to do to it. It's always kind of a hard decision for me when to stop, because this is very simple, very quick, and, you know, just basic as heck. Four pieces glue together and done. Yeah, and I always like to do a little bit of a, you know, Sebastian's touch to this stuff. You know, add some other crap. But I think 
I think this is basically it. It's gonna be extremely quick, extremely simple. I'm only gonna paint the 3D printed pieces and I'm gonna leave the tempos that, uh, as they are. Then I'm gonna just dirty it up a little bit with you guys. So let's just get back with the painting. So I'll be right back after I have this painted gray. And here we have this bad boy, you know, already somewhat dry. I wouldn't say that he's fully dry, but hair dryer did help. Let's just get rid of the red from here because I was just putting some red on the palette and I put some on the engine. But yeah, let's get back into a Iron Warrior base and just give it quick and heavy dry brush on the metallic parts. And you know, the darker metallics don't always show that nicely on the gray color but they give you the base tone for the rest of the metallic. So like in here, you have this lighter metallic, of course, and once you add this on the top, it really brings everything out. Yeah. And of course, since the wooden crates are not made out of are not made out of metal so I want to add some brownish but more into the dark red tones not total brown so I put some red some brown on the palette and just mix it up to roughly this kind of you know what I think you know that kind of red wood should be you're in a rush everything goes against you you have to remember that but to be completely honest I'm not really rushing that much just next quick build I think that you know if I have I think that about you know doing some streaming and just you know just doing like 10 20 cars in one go Because some days I have this day that they really want to do a bulk of stuff, you know, just big, big job and have something fun finished. Yep, so let's close those paints because they are no needed anymore. And now, of course, we need to dirty up the sides of this car and the front, yeah. So let's give it some dirt in here and on the front and on the sides, of course. The back, some on the chest, on the boxes as well. And you know, you would think that, you know, if he's running over some sort of a terrain, he would be losing those grenades. So I'm assuming that they are strapped, you know, with the strings probably attached to the, uh, what do you call it, uh, to the pins, yeah? So if he lose them, you know, they're gonna be <laughs> exploding behind him. And that would be my thinking for Gaslands guy, you know, like, oh, you know, if I have to lose them, you know, why don't bring some more mayhem into the game? Oh. And now, of course, a little bit of a pigment. I hope that this was in the focus. Yeah, and the pigment, of course, on the front. I should probably mill some more of the darker pigments. Because this light yellow one is, for, in my opinion, very good for like, you know, light deserts, but... Yeah, 
I like different colors as well. So yeah, I just got rid of some of that. And I think that this guy is done and really dusted. Yeah, so let's just get him on the spin table. All right, and here we have this bogger finished. Yeah, I think that the dusting is a little bit heavy. I think maybe just getting rid of some of the pigment and some of the paint would actually work into advantage of this car. But generally I like how it turned out for, especially for how much effort it was, because it was basically no effort at all. Yeah. But you know, basically it was a speed, speed build and it turned out well, so I'm happy with that. But if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And you know, maybe I'm going to be making more of those videos that I just <laughs> pop in during the lunch, you know, and just make one. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Everybody have a lovely day and take care. Bye.